Switzerland's parliament is unusual. It meets only four times a year for three-week sessions, and most of its members are not full-time politicians. Nearly all of them hold jobs outside of parliament. However, Switzerland's parliament is the highest political authority in the country, the place where most important political decisions are taken, even though the final say on laws often lies with the Swiss people. The Swiss parliament is also known as the Federal Assembly and comprises two chambers which are of equal weight: the National Council and the Council of States. The National Council represents the people. The elections of its 200 members are held in 26 electoral districts. Each canton forms its own electoral district. The cantons are entitled to seats proportional to their populations, and so the most populous canton of Zurich is represented with 34 seats, and small cantons like Appenzell Innerrhoden or Uri have just one seat. The Council of States represents the cantons and has 46 members. 20 cantons are represented with two members each. Six smaller cantons are represented with one member each. Elections to both chambers are held every four years on the penultimate Sunday of October. National councillors are elected by the people under a system of proportional representation. Seats are given in proportion to the share of votes obtained by the parties. Members of the Council of States are elected by majority vote of the people under cantonal laws. Parliament's role includes approving federal law and supervising the government. Members can propose new laws or decrees and put questions to the Federal Council about any matter concerning state affairs. The Federal Council proposes national legislation, which it sends to Parliament for approval. As there is no governing or opposition party, the Federal Council consults with all the political parties as well as with interest groups before proposing a law.